Hey guys, so I'm here with another Q&A video. I got quite a few questions, as always, on Instagram. For those of you who are wondering how to get your questions in, it is on Instagram that I usually just ask for them at random times, kind of like once a month-ish, so yeah. All right, let's get started with the first question. The first one is from Yalzoo? Zoo? Any tips on how to upgrade your wardrobe? Essential pieces, essential pieces, suggestions. So I was thinking about this because I saw this is like the first question I got, I think. I think two things that you definitely need to have in your wardrobe if you don't already are um, a black blazer, whether it's a boyfriend cut. Personally, I like the boyfriend style more. I think it's a little bit edgier and I know more people like the tailored look, but I, I'm all over the boyfriend blazer style. And also like a faux leather jacket or a real leather jacket if you can afford that. Throwing that over pretty much anything, either piece, makes an outfit look way... I don't know if it's more put together, but it gives it a whole other vibe. It can make it look more stylish, it can make it look more edgy, it can make it either piece makes it look like you put way more effort into an outfit than you actually did. At least that's what I tend to do. So those two pieces alone, um, I think, can do a whole lot for your look. Truthfully Cat asks, any TV shows you've been loving recently? <laughs> so for anyone who's been watching my videos or follows me on Twitter or just knows me, knows that I am a TV addict. I am a chronic binge watcher. But as far as, I feel like you guys already know like my, my usuals, but as far as like the newer shows go, I really like Forever, which is on ABC. It's about that um, Emmy who dies but always comes back to life, so he's um, immortal essentially. How to Get Away with Murder is freaking insane. I've kind of been boycotting the Shondaland shows just because, I don't know, I haven't ever watched Scandal and I just don't really want to just because I, I have my personal reasons about not wanting to watch that show. I mean, I used to watch Grey, it's not really watch that anymore. And so when How to Get Away with Murder came out, I was like, this looks crazy intense and I want to watch it, but I was like, ah. So it took me a while to actually jump on the bandwagon, but it's really good. Another one that's probably gonna get canceled, but I think is actually a really good show is Red Band Society, and it's, it's not doing so well as far as ratings and audience goes, but I actually think it's a good show. You guys should check it out if you haven't seen it before. Hey Amy Fan asks, what TV show would you recommend binge watching on Netflix? And I am actually gonna do a video on my top 10 shows to binge watch on Netflix because I am that girl. I have a problem. I have binge watched way too many things on there, but right now I am currently re-binge watching Fringe, which I liked it the first time around, but there are some things in there that I wanted to rewatch. Whenever I watch TV or whenever I binge watch, I don't always look at the screen. I'm sometimes like either editing a video or doing something else, like not even by my computer and just listening to it. So I wanted to actually <laughs> watch everything over again. But um, that's a pretty good show. I didn't love the last season, but the first few seasons were really good. Summer King underscore asks, who is your woman crush Wednesday, man crush Monday? Monday. I love you heart to heart. Thanks! Okay, my woman crush one, actually I think some other girl asked like who are your, fa who are your celebrity um, boy crushes and woman crushes. So I'm gonna stick with like the celebrity realm. Um, a woman crush would be Emma Stone because she looked so good at the Golden Globes and I'm just like obsessed with her. She's hilarious and I just love her. She's amazing. Man crush Monday. Uh, Okay, so my mom showed me the SNL episode where Jimmy Fallon hosts and him and Justin Timberlake. Can I pick like a bromance as a man crush, men crush? Because <laughs> Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon together are like comedic geniuses. I don't know, I love their relationship. They're so freaking hilarious and that's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I could think of right now. The Broke Sophisticated asks, favorite phone app? Something that's not typical social media. So, uh, I'm gonna go with the game because I'm obsessed with it. And I've talked about it before um, because I've actually been playing it for like months now. But it's the Disney Zoom Zoom game. If you haven't played this, I don't know what you've been doing with your life because I've been playing this game for... Could it, it can't be a year already, but it's been several, several months. And for me, games, I'll play them and I'll be addicted to them and then I'll just get over it and not play them anymore. I'll like take them off my phone. With this one, I have been consistently playing for a very long time. I think it's because they keep adding new characters and I just love little Disney things. And you guys, if you watch my other channel, you know that I actually have a bunch of the little Disney Zoom Zoom things. Wait, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me, let me show you. 
Okay, see, they're like actually little. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Like they're little hamster babies. I'm so freaking duh. I just can't deal with the cuteness. They have these at the Disney store, for those of you who are wondering where you could get them, but that's another reason I'm also obsessed with the game, because I'm like, I want to see the characters come to life in stuffed animal form. It's not real life, but okay. All right, the next question comes from y Yan Yan Emily. Yan Yan Emily? If you were a chocolate bar, what flavor would you be and why, lol? So when I saw this comment come in, I was actually thinking about that, and I was like, that's a very good question because I don't know how to justify whatever flavor I pick. And the first thing I thought of was milk chocolate with almonds because that's my favorite kind of candy bar. And then I was like, well, <laughs> because I'm sweet and nutty, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that, that works as well as it did in my head. So <laughs> I don't know, but I do like milk chocolate more and I also like almonds. But I wouldn't mind like peanuts either, so... <laughs> I also like potato chips with chocolate. That's good too, but I don't want to call myself salty because it's not ideal, is it? Okay, Yaya Jackson 2 asked, okay, first of all, when I saw this, I was like, I have to include this because this is kind of hilarious. She asked, have you ever had one of those dreams that you're using the bathroom but actually catch yourself and realize it's just a dream before being in your bed, LOL? I was like, you win the award for most random question ever, but amazing. I mean, yeah, that's happened to me before. I think it's happened to everyone. I assume it has anyway, but that is freaking hilarious. Oh god, that's that's great. Okay, Pink Hearts Hawaii asks, what are your top two eyeshadow palettes for everyday wear? Um, I would say the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original one, and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette were probably my two go-to's. The Lorac Pro comes in a close third, but I would still go with the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar over that one, so those are my top two and the runner-up, I guess. YachtFX7 asks, who is your favorite Friends character? This is important. And I agree, this is a very important question. But I think it's pretty obvious this is actually a question. Um, Chandler is definitely my favorite character. And Sarah Bethal, the next question, she says, I agree with that question. And how have you been lately? P.S. I think you are pretty rad. Well, thank you. I, I like being called pretty rad. Rad itself. Okay. Um, I've been okay. Uh, I'm just kind of going along with whatever's happening in my life, which seems to be nothing at the moment. I am currently um, looking for job opportunities in several different areas of life, and it's not fun. Post grad life sucks a lot. But I am also doing makeup on the musical at my school that I did last year. We're doing Legally Blonde this year and I'm doing it again this year so it should be really fun. It's always nice to get involved with stuff like that because it is, it's really exciting so um, I'm doing that as well. Holy Choli asks, do you tend to get annoyed if people call you hipster? Because you're so hipster. So in all caps. And if you hate that then that just makes you more hipster. So I had to address this question in particular because the way I see it, like what is a hipster? Can anyone actually define what a hipster is? Because if you give hipster definition, isn't that already like not hipster? But then like, what is hipster? You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't care if people call me hipster because I don't, frankly, I don't think anyone knows exactly what that is. So, <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Although I would never call myself a hipster because I don't feel like looking at me, I don't think I look like that stereotypical hipster. Like I don't look like I sit in a coffee shop um, writing poems. <laughs> Eliza Ant asks, worst memory in school? This one, I don't know if I have any worst memories as far as like in class goes or like grade wise, but there was one instance this past summer. so. Uh, some of you guys may know I was really struggling this past summer with stress and anxiety and just a whole lot of bad stuff um, and it was manifesting itself physically in my body. I was getting like dry, I was dry heaving in the morning, I was feeling nauseous and I couldn't eat anything, it was really bad. So when people asked me over the summer like how I lost weight or that I looked so skinny, it was it was kind of a weird thing for me because it, it wasn't intentional, I was not well. so. There's that, but the worst moment for me probably is this class that I took. It was a computer science programming class, 
and I had to take it for my psych major. I was really struggling in that class. Like I didn't understand it. It wasn't come like I couldn't figure it out. It wasn't processing for me. And so I got really stressed. I was like, if I don't pass this class, I'm not going to graduate. And this is going to be a, like, I'm, I'm not going to graduate. It's going to be a big deal. And so for the first few weeks of the class, I was, I was like dying. And then when it finally clicked, it was okay. But during the first part of the course, there was one point in time in class when I got so, I don't know if it was overwhelmed or what, but I started shaking, I broke out in a cold sweat, I got dizzy, I had to walk out of the classroom in the middle of the lecture. It was a small group of students. It was a smaller lecture hall, and I, I never walk out in the middle of a class. It's, it's, it's rude, um, but I had to. I walked out of the classroom, and I literally laid down on a bench outside of the, the lecture hall, and I probably looked really effed up. <laughs> Yeah, that was really bad. That was like hitting academic rock bottom. But I did okay, I got to be in the class once I finally understood things, even though I took it past the pass, and technically I got to pass. Okay. <laughs> Last question I'm gonna answer is from Simol XOXO, and she asks, if you had one superpower, what would it be and why? So when I saw this question, I had to think about this for a second too. And I think I would want to be invisible, but not so that I could like be a creeper and like lurk other people or like go in <laughs> places that you shouldn't be going in. I would want to be invisible so that people wouldn't bother me. And that sounds really sad and kind of like really cutie, but to be honest, like that is why. I would rather be able to do exactly what I do every day and like go the places that I do and like go out in public stuff, but I'd just rather not have people see me. <laughs> I just, I'd rather be left alone, for the most part, for the most part, not always, but you know. So, there's that, ending it on a high note, yay. Alright, so that is it for this q and I hope you guys found these answers somewhat, I don't know if entertaining is even a good word to use there, but there's that. So, I will see you guys next time, and I honestly, I'm trying to find a better uh, topic for my next college talk because everything that I like run through in my mind is not I don't actually see myself speaking about it so feel free to leave any college talk requests that I haven't done before um, below in the comments because I really could use some feedback right now about that um, and as I mentioned I will be doing the top 10 Netflix binge watching series as well so that'll be coming up soon but I think that's about it now okay thanks for watching bye